Hi developers, I'm Hossein Dilia, Microsoft MVP. In this video, we'll learn how to track analytics and crashes from our Xamarin Forms application using Visual Studio Mobile Center. We track those analytics in order to understand how our customers are interacting with the application. Do they get to know all the features in the application? And do they struggle with some features? And you also can get crash reports so to understand if our application does crash in certain uh, conditions. The goal here is to have a dashboard where we understand how the users are using the application. Do they understand and discover all the features of my application? Are those features easy to use? So from this dashboard, we can understand how many active users do we have uh, who are using the application. We can understand the daily sessions per user. We can get metrics about the session duration, which is important to measure the loyalty of our, uh, of our users. Then we can get other um, useful information like the top devices. So here I'm you, uh, my users are using uh, the Nexus and Samsung devices. We can also understand who or where are our customer um, in the world. So here I can see that I have some customers in uh, France. And also we can get the languages for my customers. If I'm building a French application, then I might um, or if my customers are in France, then I might um, think about building a French application or creating a French translation for my app. We can also to understand how our users are using the application, we use the notion of events and events enable us to uh, understand when users are clicking the buttons and along that we can associate some data like what I'm doing here for my uh, application uh, that is for calculating the BMI so the user enters the height, the weight, then click the button calculate BMI that will calculate that uh, index. So I'm sending all the data for the height, weight and BMI index along with the uh, category. And the data is sent right here to a mobile center where you can see all the data for the BMI index, the category, the height and the weight. So we can send all those data. We can also uh, get the number of the clicks per user. So here count per, per user. I can see that uh, this user clicked eight uh, times. So let's now see how we can get this useful data to enhance our application. So when we click on analytics, at uh, the first time you create the project, you will get this window. So you click uh, learn more, then here you choose whether your app is a Xamarin or Xamarin Forms application. And here, because uh, it's showing Xamarin because at the first, when we created the project, we uh, choose a Xamarin application. If you choose a React or a native uh, Java, Android or Swift uh, iOS application, then you will have uh, other options. Here we choose it Xamarin. So uh, we go here to Xamarin Forms and here it shows me the steps that I need to go through in order to uh, implement analytics and the crash reports in my app. Here, basically, what it tells me, I need to uh, go to uh, the uh, app and uh, add the uh, SDK, Mobile Center uh, SDK, and we can find all the detailed information uh, right here and get started. So you get the links for this documentation. And right here, it is asking for us to add those um, SDKs, so those call it Microsoft Azure Mobile uh, Analytics. So let's copy this one and let's go back to our application and add those SDKs. So I'll go to the uh, solution right here, right click, and then 
manage NuGet packages for solutions. So let's get the NuGet packages. I'll just go and type mobile center and that will populate for me all the NuGet packages for mobile center. So here we need to install those two ones, mobile.analytics and mobile.crashes. And those two ones will add this third one. So I already have done that, but uh, make sure you install those in your um, PCL project and also in your Android uh, project. If you are uh, also targeting iOS, you can add that along with UWP. So make sure you select also the PCL uh, project. Cool, so I have done that. Now what I need to do is to go to the step number two, which is right here, adding the support for analytics and crashes. So this is, it is one, just one line of code. So let's copy this one right here and I need to add it inside the uh, app.zaml.cs on the onStart method. So let's go there and here it is. So from here, I need to add that line of code right here. And here you will see that um, for each app, I need to add the app secret. Here I'm only targeting Android, so I'll remove the iOS and uh, UWP. And I need to add the app secret for the Android project. From where I can get the app secret, so if I come back to my app, here you can see that we do have the app secret for the uh, Android uh, project, which is this one at uh, this line right here. So let's paste that right here and the Android equal our app secret. Then here we are telling mobile center to uh, start analytics and crashes and here in each time it generates an analytic or an, a crash it will send it to the mobile center um, portal then it will recognize our application through this identification uh, number after this first step we need to go to the second step which is start generating events so here we do have the basic track event um, event which will create an event we uh, give it a name then associate data with that event so here in this sample provided it will send event uh, when the user clicks the video button then it will send the category of the video then the file name for our app we'll send data about the height weight and the bmi index along with the category so let's copy this one and use it in our application. I'll go to the code where I do have the uh, click it button, which is here the command calculate INC command because in my app where I do have the main page, um, when the user clicks the button, that command will be executed, calculate INC command. Inside this command, we are calculating the uh, BMI index depending on the weight and the height of the user. Then we'll show the category and the uh, BMI inside the user uh, interface right here in two uh, labels. Cool. Now, after doing the calculation, we'll go and track the event right here. So let's paste that code and here analytics track event instead of calling this uh, video click it we call it um, bmi click it or bmi button uh, click it then we'll associate data with this event first of all we'll send the weight of the a of entered right here so we'll paste here weight dot to string then we'll add another data for the height and we'll say here height to string then we'll add to this another data for the bmi index so we'll say here bmi to string then with this we want to uh, send also the uh, category 
and category is already a string so we don't need to use to string cool now let's run the app and let's see that in each time i click the bmi button this data will be sent to the portal so let's click here calculate bmi and let's choose with some other values let's say 1.9 then calculate bmi and now if we go back to the um, mobile center portal and go to events from here we see that now we do have an event called bmi button clicked which is the same name we have used right here in our uh, to, to identify this event so in each time the user clicks this button that event will be sent to the mobile center and it will also send those data height right bmi and category we can find that data if we click on that event and right here we can see the number of the uh, users so we do only have one user who sent the, those two events so those are two events sent on uh, on this uh, date july 31 then right here at the bottom we do have the data for the weight category bmi and the height so you see here the weight is 66 then the category underweight and normal weight which were the values shown right here along with analytics we can also get crash data so if we go to the documentation for crashes then here we can see all the steps that we need to go through in order to uh, detect if our application had crashed and if that's the case we can send the crash report to mobile center in order to g give it to our developers to understand what was the cause of that crash i hope this video was helpful for you and thank you